New Scientist, Wikipedia article audio. New Scientist is a weekly English language international science magazine, founded in 1956. Since 1996, it has also run a website. History Modern Format Staff and Contributors Editors of New Scientist Website Spin-offs Criticism Greg Egan's Criticism of the M-Drive article Darwin Was Wrong Cover Sold in retail outlets and on subscription, the magazine covers current developments, news, reviews and commentary on science and technology. It also publishes speculative articles, ranging from the technical to the philosophical. A reader's letters section discusses recent articles, and discussions also take place on the website. Readers contribute observations on examples of pseudoscience to feedback, and offer questions and answers on scientific and technical topics to last word. Extracts from the latter have been compiled into several books. New Scientist, based in London, publishes editions in the UK, the United States, and Australia. The magazine was founded in 1956 by Tom Margerison, Max Raison, and Nicholas Harrison as the New Scientist, with issue 1 on November 22, priced one shilling. The British monthly science magazine Science Journal, published 1965-71, was merged with New Scientist to form New Scientist and Science Journal. Originally, the cover of New Scientist had a list of articles rather than a picture. Pages were numbered sequentially for an entire quarterly volume, as is the norm for academic journals. Later issues numbered pages separately. Until the 1970s, color was not used except for on the cover. From the beginning of 1961 the was dropped from the title. From 1965, the front cover was illustrated. Since its first issue, New Scientist has written about the applications of science, through its coverage of technology. For example, the first issue included an article where next from Calder Hall. On the future of nuclear power in the UK, a topic that it has covered throughout its history. In 1964 there was a regular science in British industry section with several items. An article in the magazine's 10th anniversary issues provides anecdotes on the founding of the magazine. In 1970, the Reed Group, which went on to become Reed Elsevier, acquired New Scientist when it merged with IPC magazines. Reed retained the magazine when it sold most of its consumer titles in a management buyout to what is now IPC Media. Throughout most of its history, New Scientist has published cartoons as light relief and comment on the news, with contributions from such long-time regular contributors as Mike Payton and David Austin. The Grimbledon Down comic strip, by the renowned cartoonist Bill Tidy, appeared from 1970 to 1994. Ariadne, which later moved to nature, commented weekly on the lighter side of science and technology, with the plausible but impractical humorous inventions of inventor Deadless, often developed by the Dredco Corporation. Issues of New Scientist from issue 1 to the end of 1989 have been made free to read online. Subsequent issues require a subscription. In the first half of 2013, the international circulation of New Scientist averaged 125,172. While this was a 4.3% reduction on the previous year's figure, 
it was a much smaller reduction in circulation than many mainstream magazines of similar or greater circulation. For the 2014 UK circulation fell by 3.2% but stronger international sales, increased the circulation to 129,585. See also number website below. In April 2017, New Scientist changed hands when RELX Group, formerly known as Reed Elsevier, sold the magazine to Kingston Acquisitions. Kingston Acquisitions then renamed itself New Scientist Ltd. New Scientist currently contains the following sections, Leader, News, Technology, Opinion, Features, Culture Lab, Feedback, The Last Word and Jobs and Careers. A Tom Gould cartoon appears on the letters page. There are 51 issues a year, with a Christmas and New Year double issue. The double issue in 2014 was the 3,000th edition of the magazine. The editor-in-chief is Summit Paul Chowdhury, executive editor is Graham Lawton, managing editor is Rowan Hooper and editor-at-large is Jeremy Webb. It was announced on January 31, 2018 that Paul Chowdhury is to take up a post as strategy director with Emily Wilson, previously assistant editor of The Guardian, replacing him as the publication's first female editor. Consultants include Fred Pierce, Marcus Chown, and Linda Geddes. Simon Ings and former editor Ellen Anderson are contributors. The New Scientist website carries blogs, reports, and news articles. Users with free of charge registration have limited access to new content and can receive emailed New Scientist newsletters. Subscribers to the print edition have full access to all articles and the archive of past content that has so far been digitized. Online readership takes various forms. Overall global views of an online database of over 100,000 articles are 8.0 m by 3.6 m unique users according to Adobe Reports and Analytics, as of September 2014. On social media there are 1.47 m and Twitter followers, 2.3 m and Facebook likes and 365,000 plus Google and followers as of January 2015. New Scientist has published books derived from its content, many of which are selected questions and answers from the last word section of the magazine and website. Other books published by New Scientist include in 2012 ARC, a new digital quarterly from the makers of New Scientist, exploring the future through the world of science fiction and fact was launched. In the same year the magazine launched a dating service, New Scientist Connect, operated by the Dating Lab. A Dutch edition of the New Scientist was launched in June 2015 replacing the former Natur Watenschap and Techniek magazine. The monthly magazine is published by Veen Media and sold in the Netherlands and Belgium. Since 2016 New Scientist has held a science festival annually in London, styled New Scientist Live, which has attracted high-profile scientists and science presenters. In September 2006, New Scientist was criticized by science fiction writer Greg Egan, who wrote that a sensationalist bent and a lack of basic knowledge by its writers was making the magazine's coverage sufficiently unreliable to constitute a real threat to the public understanding of science. In particular, Egan found himself gobsmacked by the level of scientific illiteracy in the magazine's coverage of Roger Shaw's electromagnetic drive, where New Scientist allowed the publication of meaningless double talk designed to bypass a fatal objection to Shaw's proposed space drive, 
namely that it violates the law of conservation of momentum. Egan urged others to write to New Scientist and pressure the magazine to raise its standards, instead of squandering the opportunity that the magazine's circulation and prestige provides. The editor of New Scientist, then Jeremy Webb, replied defending the article, saying that it is an ideas magazine that means writing about hypotheses as well as theories. In January 2009, New Scientist ran a cover with the title Darwin Was Wrong. The actual story stated that specific details of Darwin's evolution theory had been shown incorrectly, mainly the shape of phylogenetic trees of interrelated species, which should be represented as a web instead of a tree. Some evolutionary biologists who actively oppose the intelligent design movement thought the cover was both sensationalist and damaging to the scientific community. Jerry Coyne, author of the book Why Evolution is True, called for a boycott of the magazine, which was supported by evolutionary biologists Richard Dawkins and P.Z. Myers. 1998 the Last Word ISBN 978-0-19-286199-3-2000 The Last Word 2 ISBN 978-0-19-286204-4-2005 Does Anything Eat Wasps? ISBN 978-1-86197-973-5-2006 Why Don't Penguins Feet Freeze? ISBN 978-1861978769-2007 How to Fossilize Your Hamster? ISBN 978-1-84668-044-1-2008 Do Polar Bears Get Lonely? ISBN 978-1-84668-131-2009 How to Make a Tornado, The Strange and Wonderful Things That Happen When Scientists Break Free ISBN 978-1846682872-2010 Why Can't Elephants Jump? ISBN 978-1-84668-398-5-2011 Why Are Orangutans Orange? Science Questions in Picture ISBN 978-1-84668-507-1-2012 Will We Ever Speak Dolphin? ISBN 978-1-78125-026-6-2014 Question Everything ISBN 978-1781251645 The Anti-Zoo 50 Freaks of Nature You Won't See on TV, Nothing, Surprising Insights Everywhere from Zero to Oblivion. ISBN 978-1615192052-2009 New Scientist, The Collection, Vol 1 The Big Questions the Unknown Universe, Guide to a Better You, The Human Story, Vol 2 Our Planet, Being Human, Medical Frontiers, The Human Brain, 15 Ideas You Need to Understand, Vol 3 Discovering Space.